In this video, we can discuss about production of chryseofulvin by fermentation process. Sixth semester P farm in pharmaceutical biotechnology la unit of five will the syllabus will be the last product on Griseofulvin and another Penicillin, Citric Acid, Glutamic Acid, Vitamin B12. These topics we will discuss in the topic and the fermentation process. Now, we will see the introduction of the Griseofulvin and the different steps of fermentation process. And application of Griseofulvin. Let's start with an introduction to Griseofulvin. Pharmacology is a drug Griseofulvin and an antifungal antibiotic, which will act specifically on fungi with a chitinous cell wall. Usually, this Griseofulvin is isolated from Penicillium species. And the main use of Griseofulvin is for the treatment of different fungal infection caused by different fungus. The mechanism of action of Chrysiofluvin is exactly unknown, but it is believed that chitin synthesis is adversely affected by the Chrysiofluvin. So, fungus cell wall composition is very important material and chitin and chitin the biosynthesis is adversely affected by the fungus mechanism of action. Now, fermentation process is process of Chrysiofluvin is very very important because usually the chemical synthesis is less frequently used due to their high cost. So, chemical to Chrysiofluvin synthesis is very costly. fermentation process synthesis produce an antifungal antibiotic Chrysiofluvin usually done by aerobic submerged process. Now let's see the steps of production of Chrysiofluvin by fermentation process. Fermentation process is all steps selection of microorganism, formulation of the media, production process, and recovery and purification. So first one is selection of microorganism. For the production of Chrysiofluvin, we will use high yield strains of penicillin Chrysiofluvin or penicillin patula. We can also use different strains of penicillin like penicillin nigricans, penicillin sanskrits, penicillin gartike, penicillin albida, etc. Uh, we can use both spore suspension as well as vegetative cells for the production of Chrysiofulvin uh, by fermentation process. Now coming to the second step that is the formulation of the media. Uh, here, the media for inoculum development, fermentation, and culture condition are quite similar for all the antibiotic producing fungal cells. Usually, for the isolation as well as for the production of antifungal agents like Chrysiofluvin, we will prefer sepac dox agar media, which are very rich in glucose and sodium nitrate. The ingredients of sepac dox agar media is glucose, sodium nitrate, potassium hydrogen phosphate and magnesium sulfate. You can also use different media in for different purposes. In case of sporulation, for the sporulation process we can use whey powder lactose, whey powder nitrate and potassium hydrogen phosphate, potassium chloride and constant liquor. And for germination, as a germination media we can use protopeptone, malted cereal extract, glucose starch, sodium nitrate, potassium hydrogen phosphate and magnesium sulfate and ferrous sulfate and seed, seed stage medium, constant liquid, brown sugar, then char, corn oil, etc. And medium composition containing in the production of antibiotic include constant liquid, calcium chloride, potassium hydrogen phosphate and KCL. So we can use simply use SEPAC DOCS media is enough for the production of now coming to the third step that is the production control or production process. So we will inoculate the microorganism penicillin chrysiofulvum into the fermentation medium and we will carry out the fermentation process by aerobic submerged process 
we will give aeration as well as we we are performing this fermentation as submerged process with glucose rich media and also we will provide sodium nitrates as a nitrogen source and we will keep their optimum condition uh, for and 7 to 8 10 days at a temperature of 23 to 26 degrees celsius with a ph of 6.8 to 7.3 and aeration rate of 0.8 to 1 volume volume per minute so this is the control or production process for the crucial food and finally recovery and purification so after 7 to 10 days of fermentation process the growth is heated above 60 degrees celsius for 20 to 30 minutes so by heating sufficient coagulation of material will occur to produce valuable improvement in the separation characteristics of the growth we can also uh, use higher temperature to reduce the time of this heating 80 degrees celsius 5 to 10 minutes in the heat the same or effect in the heat. So after the heating process, wet mycelium is collected from rotary dump, drum discharge filters. And we will extract three times with an solvent, butyl acetate or cold acetate. So we will wet mycelium in a collector initiation. Then we will extract the solution. So we will extract the with butyl acetate and cold acetone solution. Then after that, we will uh, add sodium hydroxide uh, to improve to uh, to improve the color okay sodium hydroxide added color will improve so now if there is any impurities or waxy substance present in the extract we can remove by washing with the solvent like aliphatic hydrocarbons like hexane hexane or potassium petroleum ether containing high proportion of x okay x a so that is the method to remove the impurities as well as waxy substance and finally the ester extract is clarified by centrifugation and concentrated under the pressure of at 50 degrees celsius and crude component is further purified by washing with chloroform and recrystallized from aqueous septum so that is the uh, recovery and purification of crisio fluid. So this is the flow chart of uh, crisio fluid production. And finally the application. Crisio fluid is mainly used for the fungal infection, for the treatment of fungal infection. Also for the treatment of different plant diseases caused by biotritis as well as alter alternaria solanae. And also used to treat the infections such as ringworm, athletic food, jaw cage, and fungal infections of scarf, fingernail, and toenails. So these are the uses of Griseofluvin. So this is the the different steps fermentation production. That is the different steps and the uses of the Griseofluvin. Hope it is clear. Thank you.